Hello. Today, we're going to show you how to replace a Perfect Air Mini Split Outdoor Condensers control box. Before we begin, make sure you disconnect power from your unit before removing anything. First, you'll need to remove the three screws on the top panel with a Phillips head screwdriver. There is one located on the right side of the unit and two located on the left side. Note, your unit may have more or less screws depending on the model number. For this video, we are using the 18,000 BTU model. Next, remove the top panel and place it to the side. Now, you'll need to unscrew the condenser's front panel. There are eight screws you'll need to remove. Three on the left-hand side of the unit, three at the top of the front panel, and two at the bottom of the panel. Once the screws are removed, you can lift the front panel off of the unit and place it to the side. Before disconnecting any wires or plugs, make sure to take photos so that you can put everything back together the way it was. Unplug the compressor. Use a thin screwdriver to push the clip holding the plug in place, then pull it free. Next, use a pair of needle nose pliers to unplug the two wires leading to the reactor. Grab the plugs near the base to loosen them and make them easier to remove. Unscrew the two screws on the bottom of the electrical panel cover and pull it free. Disconnect the control box's power. Specifically, you'll want to pull the second, third, and sixth wires with your needle nose pliers. Unscrew the two grounding wires. There's one attached at the top right corner of the electrical panel, and one attached at the bottom right of the same panel. Remove the screw holding the control box in place on the bottom using a stubby screwdriver. Now, remove all plugs from the control box. For the wide plug that goes to the fan motor, to make it easier, use a small screwdriver to lift the clip on the other side. Remove the two screws from the top of the control box. There is one at the front left of the box and one in the back right. Now carefully remove the control box, making sure you haven't left any plugs connected. Then, you're ready to insert the new box. Make sure to line up the small plastic tab on the bottom of the control box with the hole in the top of the electrical panel. Replace the bottom screw while holding the box in place. Next, replace the top two screws. Reattach all wires and plugs. Be sure to refer to your reference photos if you can't remember where a plug or wire should go. And don't worry, for your convenience, every plug is color-coded and only fits in its respective slot.
Now, neatly place all the wires back into the wire holders on the back of the outdoor control box. Now replace the top and front panels on the unit. And your new control box should be ready to go. Thanks for watching.